First picture up, we got uh, He-Man over here facing off against the Evil Warriors. I just took a couple of the Battle Mountains uh, using one of those tapestries again. Um, we got Skeletor, Beast Man, Evil Inn, Merman. Merman's got some parts swapped from Origins and Massiverse because I wasn't really a big fan of the Massiverse, but I wanted to be in scale, so I took the Origins head and the Origins armor and put them on there. Got a couple of these little black star demons and a little critter that I have um, over here, just kind of so Beastman would have some kind of monster to help him attack. Um, I like the way the lights hitting these uh, mountains. Um, in the foreground here is like a little carpet strip um, you can get at the dollar store to kind of have like some kind of texture there instead of just being the white shelf. Again, the tapestry is kind of folded down to have a little bit of the ground um, there. Uh, nothing too fancy this shot. I just want to take some figures and um, post them up. I kind of like the over-the-shoulder um, He-Man uh, here. and It's a little washed out in the back. and Yeah, definitely could be better, but there is that shot. Um, up next, we've got another look at my uh, Space Ghost diorama. This time, a uh, closer look at Zorak. Um, he came with this keyboard, um, I made his little speaker out of foam, it's all very kind of trashy look, but that was kind of like the look on Space Ghost, um, and then the back is just um, some styrofoam painted up, and then when I was cutting out pieces for the styrofoam, I kept the little crumbs that you would get um, that flake off, because I was carving it with a pen at this time, I don't have a, a hot knife or... Um, a wire cutter or anything so just kind of like carving into it with pens and pencils um, but I took them and I used them kind of like do the specs in the back like if you go back and watch the old Space Ghost this is actually like really close to what the set looked like so still really happy with how that turned out and that was like the second diorama piece I ever made so there's that Zorak always love Space Ghost so you'll see them from time to time in the feed um, up next, we got a shot of um, an extreme set. This is the pop-up dungeon. Um, it's pretty cool. It's just cardboard. Um, you know, you fold the pieces. There's like a little stairway here where Sorceress is coming down. And it leads out here. Probably put a little bit too much green light on it looking at it now. Um, but I got like a light here behind the, the little prison. You can see like... Too Bad's arm over here. Kind of like the effect the light gives through the drape, though. Uh, I don't use this thing as often as I should, at least not fully assembled, because it takes up a lot of space. But you will see it from time to time in the pictures. Um, but it's fun, you know, it's a nice little um, area for them to, you know, or for you to kind of play with them in. Um, some of the parts look a little flat, like this torch over here is just killing me looking at it. Um, but. All in all, um, just kind of showing it off. Um, I was pretty happy when I got it. I still like this thing. Like I said, it's a little big to keep fully assembled. So a lot of times you'll see like a couple pieces of it put together just for the shot, which is probably the better way to go, honestly, to kind of just have it as background. Because I was trying to show off the whole, um, well, not the whole thing, but like a good chunk of the thing. And you'll see like a wider shot of it uh, this week. It'll be the last shot um, on this video, I think. And then up next, <laughs> this one's a pretty funny shot. Uh, it's kind of playing with the uh, Revelations hate. So you got Andre and Tila looking at some posts on the internet. Andre being like, the internet really hates us because, man, they did. And then Tila, I thought it'd be funny if she was giving her a back massage while asking why do they think we're lesbians. Because that was a lot of the speculation. There's a lot of Revelations hate, and I was just kind of playing with it. Thought it was funny. Um, the background here, um, you'll see this from time to time in my shots. Um, you've seen it a few times already. It's just um, like little garden um, wall, basically. They're little plastic um, things that clip together. Uh, I have like a little uh, practice dummy from the Batcave um, from DC Primal Age over here, and then this is just like a desk from Hobby Lobby, it came with a computer, keyboard, mouse. Um, all in all, I think it's a funny shot, uh, it's like one of the only times I use word bubbles, which I should do uh, more often, but 
I don't know. I, I rarely edit um, a picture. I think this is one of the only ones where I actually do any kind of after effect thing. I think there's one other picture that I've cleaned up, but other than that, that's about it. Um, and then here, um, same thing with like the carpet in the foreground, the tapestry in the back, and the battle mountains. This time I set up some battle beasts. You got the little land shark thing here just kind of i have a bunch of battle beasts sitting around so i thought i'd take a picture with them kind of fight going on over here dude in the background another fight going on over here you got some people manning the guns um i don't know i just want to do something uh, a little different than motu i have a lot of stuff that's not motu motu is my main um obviously but yeah i wanted to show these guys off i always love battle beast um so you know, it's fun to actually take them out and play with them. Uh, I should do some more pictures with them. I've done a few, but I should definitely bring them back out more often. They're a cool toy line. Um, and then up next, this is kind of a toy shot. Um, that's my mom. Um, she's reading a mini comic to me. She's recreating a childhood memory for me. This was um, when I was hanging out over at her house for Thanksgiving, so... I'm just laying here, she's reading a comic um, to me, and I'm playing with my He-Man Skeletor. Felt like I was, you know, five years old again. It's really cool. Um, I wouldn't be half the nerd I am today if it wasn't for my mom. She used to read these comics to me um, all the time. She would, like, record herself reading them on um, cassettes, and then, like, ring a bell uh, when it was time to turn the page, and honestly, I learned how to read because my mom was cool enough to do that for me, so... Thank you, Mom. I love you. Really appreciate you taking this super nerdy shot and letting me post it to Instagram. So, thank you again, Mom. And then, this is the uh, last one of the week. It's another shot of that um, extreme set. This one, kind of like a wide or like a high angle shot. Uh, just kind of wanted to show off the whole thing. You got a lot of space to work with on these things. They're actually really cool. Um... I need to get better at shooting them, um, and I think I do, um, as time goes on. Like I said, I rarely set the whole thing up, but you got a ton of floor space here. You got walls over here, walls over here. Um, you got the dungeon back here again, like I have a light um, behind there. You got Too Bad and uh, Spiker um, hanging out in the back. Yeah, and I just kind of wanted to have like a little dungeon siege uh, going on. So, that's it. That was a quick week. I don't know why it feels so quick. Anyway, um, I've got a few new subscribers this week, so I'm up to 50. I hope I don't lose any of you guys. I'm loving seeing a couple people trickle in every week. That's awesome. Um, stay tuned. I got a bunch of cool stuff coming on Instagram. Um, pretty soon on here, we'll get to, uh, some holiday shots. I did a whole hanukkah series they did a bunch of christmas um stuff and we'll be getting into those next month um and then got some fun stuff coming up next week if you check out my instagram i'm still in the middle of naughty november you'll see um a ton of inappropriate shots this month uh and then when i hit the end of this month i'll be making a special youtube video going back over all of those videos and i'm gonna call it how to lose followers and alienate people because i have lost like 90 something followers since the beginning of november um i'm not for everybody but uh the people who are here i appreciate you i hope you stay and like follow subscribe, share. Um, I'll see y'all next week. Thank you.